This Pro Tools session has three tracks. One, the narration playing the sound of my voice. Two, an empty audio track with a signal generator. And three, an empty audio track with a signal generator and a high pass filter. Both signal generators have exactly the same settings, generating a 100 Hz square wave at minus 20 dB. Listen to the two tones again. Which one is louder and which one meters higher? Notice that the filtered tone sounds lower in volume but actually meters higher on the Pro Tools peak meters. Now watch as we sweep the high pass filter from a low cutoff frequency to a high cutoff frequency. The peak signal initially increases and then finally falls away as there is virtually no sound left in the signal. The results of this demonstration are twofold. One, peak meters have very poor accuracy when measuring loudness, the only thing they measure accurately is remaining headroom, and two, any change in a signal can cause the peak level to increase. This can happen at any calculation within a plug-in, so just because the output signal has not clipped does not mean that there has not been internal distortion within a plug-in. Maintaining adequate headroom is the only way to ensure quality signal processing.